hi okay um so actually really excited i haven't posted a video in so long and i'm finally back here i go um so i'm at home at the minute i've like need to throw this in because this was filmed two months ago and i just haven't been bothered to do anything about it so you're gonna get annoyed so yeah this was just it was filmed ages ago i'm gonna need to like put things in like lockdown rules like the lockdown had just started in london like the second one whenever i filmed this so that's how long ago it was because it's finished now hello welcome back yeah i'm done now enjoy put your head on I thought I would film a little week in my life as a new musical theatre student. I've woken up in a really good mood this morning, which is so unusual for me, so I'm making most of it and decided that I would whip out the camera. Camera. My phone. So yeah, that's what we're doing this week. I'm very excited about it. Hopefully you'll enjoy it. I actually filmed one of these already at the start of like me moving here. Like it was the first video I filmed and it was so <laughs> awkward. And I didn't speak in front of anyone because I was just like so nervous the entire time because I was like, I'm either gonna mess something up, someone's gonna take piss out of me. Like either way, it was just a no go. So now I am, um, now I don't care. Oof. So, so today I have like a pretty chill start, but then I have quite a busy day afterwards, which is so good. Yeah, so I have quite a mixture today, which is good. Leave it everything, love that. So I'll just take you along and like show you. I obviously can't show you any of my classes because I can't really do that. Bit private, you know, like can't really show you any of it. I know, I'm so bad. I know, I've lost it. Cleo. Right enough, I don't actually know what I'm showing you this week because like lockdown rules have recently just changed in London. You're not allowed anyone in your house and you're not even allowed to like meet up with people outside. So I am a wee bit curious as to what I'm actually going to do with you this week. So this will be fun. Okay, so it's like half nine or something like that and I don't have class until quarter past ten. So I'm probably just gonna sit here and chill, like, warm. Okay, no worries, no worries. Back from singing. I need to stop doing this voice. Like, I don't know why. Like, everyone was doing this voice like five years ago, and I'm still doing it. I'm still doing it. To be fair, I've been doing it for years. Like, I'm just putting that out there. In drama, in like A level drama, GCSE drama, like, everyone used to call it my Shakira voice every time I did it. So I'm just saying, like it may not have been started by me on social media, but I've been doing it the longest. Just putting out there. So I'm just back from singing and gonna make myself some lunch because I don't have a break again until like nine tonight. I don't have a break until, and it's currently like quarter to 12. I'm having tuna, love it. If anyone has an issue with the fact that I'm having tuna, that's fine, you can unsubscribe because oh, it's filthy, like look in there. Oh, whoops. Putting it back in, not even cleaning it. Also, we showed Jimmy and Kira's photo wall. Like, look, isn't it so cute? And we've got like fairy lights to hang on all. Show you it later whenever we're like vibing. Can I only eat half this can of tuna? Like, is that a problem? Like, can I put the rest of it, like, cover it up and put it in the fridge? I'm really bad with this whole cooking situation. Like, I will show you the meals I make for myself. I am like horrific. Like, I'm approaching just getting Uber Eats every night, which is so bad because I don't have the student loan for that. It's not gonna happen for me. I make myself like awful meals. Like I, my go-to is, actually my go-to is pretty good. So I'll get like a chicken breast or like chicken nuggets or something. Oh, I should have eaten them. My go-to meal is always chicken with like some form of salad or veg and like potato wedges that my mom taught me how to make that are pang if I do say so myself, like they are good. I've been like considering doing what I eat in a days and stuff, but I don't know, like I ate rubbish. Can I be any quieter or louder, sorry? I'm making my own boojin this week. I've decided it's come to the time because Kira's had it the past couple of nights, really good looking. If you don't know what boojin is, it's basically just like a Mexican place we have. It's kind of like Chipotle, but I've never had Chipotle, so I couldn't tell you what's better, but it's like that in Belfast and it's so yum. Remated my sandwich, like like the other side first. Like, oh God. Well, join me. A very intense day. It is not. What even time is it? Nine o'clock. It's nine o'clock, and I'm having my dinner now because I didn't get home until about half an hour ago. 
So it's actually not that hard to unbuy, but pity me, please. Look at my dinner. I'm doing better. But I've got myself some nuggies over here. And then I've got a Caesar salad. And I was going to combine the two. However, I had to use up this chicken. And I was going to use normal chicken breast. But I can't. So now I've just got nuggets. And this morning. So I have such a chill day today. It is... Why is the camera like that? So chill. And I can just like ease my way around the day and i have such nice classes it's just oh it's a dream a dream and i finish at like four. Oh, the dream because last night i didn't finish until like half eight tell me how we feel about the hair so basically i really really want bangs like really want them and i've just been seeing lots of tiktoks recently and it's like this is the sign for you to get them bangs and like i'm like yeah i know i know it is but all the hairdressers have closed in northern ireland obviously so i was gonna like I think I'm gonna get them done whenever I come back to London. Cause I thought my obsession would kind of like fade out. Do you know what I mean? Like I thought I would be like, oh, you don't actually want bangs. Like by next week you'll hate them. I don't. So I think I'm gonna get them done because look at these wee skinny imposters. Like come on. And they're also like super long, which I wouldn't want them this long. So I'm on a break now. And then I'm gonna go two more classes and then I'm done for the day. I'm just sitting here and I thought I'd show you like what my favorite snack is at the moment that I literally cannot stop myself from eating. I'm literally obsessed with Ritz crackers at the minute and cheese. Like, so you put them together, it is magical. And I'm just watching a bit of Modern Family because I'm obsessed with it and I'm really watching it. Yeah. Are you going to be on your YouTube channel? Yeah. <gasps> oh my God, you freaking rash. Oh, are you rash? Right, give me, my, give me your best impression of my accent. Go. Uh, I'm Anna Smith. Dine. 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 Anna Smith. Dine on the grind. I'm sore carrying lamb. But now do mine. Luke Price. Price. Luke Price. Luke Price. That's not too bad, though, is it? <laughs> it is. It's awful. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hello, welcome to my bathroom. It's so big and spacious, isn't it? Wow, it actually looks quite spacious on this. I, look, if I walk three steps that way, I'd be in the wall. So Kira is away out for Hernando's tonight, which means that I have the flat to myself. So I thought I'd be doing like a wee routine for you, like what I do. I hope no one can hear me. Like, I get weirded out like, that people can hear me when I'm in the bathroom, but nowhere else. Like, I don't know why. It just makes me think weirdly. On an average night, we'll obviously just, like, come in, get a shower, go to bed, have dinner. Like, that is the height of it. So, i just show you that. So, this part of the video is actually sponsored by Function of Beauty. So, thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Probs. I did. I bought Function of Beauty. Oh, you can see that you're in my cabinet, great. Um, I bought Function of Beauty. And I am so excited. It arrived in my like house in Belfast today. And I'm so excited to try it when I get back to fix this actual bird's nest that lies upon me. Okay, so first off, washing my face with the tropics. Everything I use in my face is tropics. Wouldn't have it any other way. If you're not on it, get on it because it is just, it's stunning. Like it's just so beautiful on your skin. So this is the cleanser, it's done and it's crusty because I use it every single day. And then they do have a toner, but I don't have any toner at the minute. So I'm just using the moisturizer and then I use the like blemish prevention serum as well. They are amazing, like it is magic. Okay, so I'm just off the shower and I scrubbed all my tan off and I'm gonna reapply it tonight and I need to get you onto the tan that I'm using at the minute as well because my friend got me onto it and I literally, it's so fast. Like it is three pound. I'm just gonna tell you what it is and then I'll show you later. It's the pre-mark tan, right? It's three points. Three points. I think it's pre-mark's own brand. I'm pretty sure it is. And it just gets you such a nice, like, brown. It's just lovely, like a lovely tan. Three pound, as I said, we'll never ever buy St. Moritz again. So I'm gonna try and make my own boojum tonight because I am craving one. But I don't really know how to do the burrito bowl. Well, actually, it's kind of easy. I could do a burrito bowl instead of a burrito. We will see, won't we? But yeah, I'm gonna do that and see how it works out. So I'll just show you once it's done because you wouldn't want to watch me cooking because you'd probably like freak out and like, oh, oh, it's not good. It's not good. I burnt it. Look at it. It's you, once again cremated. Oh my god. So I went for the bowl option. Didn't have a bowl big enough either. I have salsa, guac, cheese, and I'm gonna put like chorizo on it as well, just like spice it up a wee bit. I have no sour cream, which literally makes the boojum. I've had enough, I'm calling it a day. Hello. Before anyone else says it, yep, I'm aware, they're massive. Just don't look at them. Don't look at them and we won't have an issue. Today is an early start for me. Not really an early start, like 15 minutes earlier than yesterday, but it's a big day. Like today is my heftiest day out of all of them. So today I have street. 
Now, there are people in our town who are literally like street dancers. Like, they are amazing. And then me, imagine me doing a street dance. It's funny, like it is funny. I have to laugh at myself. Like my limbs are just way too long to be a street dancer. <laughs> Hello. So basically it's like nighttime. Also don't mind the stains on this. I don't know what they're from. Like they were here. I think it's like the condensation on the window and it's like hit off. It's kind of gross, but we ignore it. Basically it's like nighttime now and I've had such a busy day. Like today is by far my most full out day like of all. And because last night's dinner was such a disaster, I decided treat myself to a mcdonald's tonight sorry sorry about it oh well but yeah it's like half nine now so <laughs> i'm in bed and will be asleep within the hour tomorrow's day is also pretty full out it's not even another full out like wednesday and thursday are my most heavy dance days like i basically don't dance monday tuesday and then wednesday thursday it's like slap up the face with the dance and it's really terrifying so um that's why I'm so exhausted and everywhere hurts, especially my back, which doesn't make any sense because I didn't do any back work today. So yeah, I'll probably just sign off here for tonight. i see you in the morning. Oh no, actually I'll tell you my story. So we had straight today, as I said, did I sell you that earlier? I actually really like straight, like it's fun. And everyone's like, no one's really that judgmental in straight. Like most of my classes, like dance classes, no one's judgmental, which is so nice because whenever I walk in there, I'm a hot mess. My friend Luke, he was in the video earlier. He's got like pink hair and he like broke his shoulder today in straight. I don't know if you can break a shoulder, but I don't know what he's done. He's like fractured something up there and he's in a big sling. Oh, I can't love him. It's currently like, what time is it? 10 to 8 in the morning. I am not an early riser. I actually am. My body woke me up a quarter past seven today. Like just literally had me up. And I couldn't get back to sleep. Well, I had 15 minutes worth of sleep before my alarm went off. Worth it. Today, I've got another dance heavy day. And it starts at half eight. Oh, I actually do enjoy it, obviously, once I'm there. But it's just the getting there is such a struggle. Such a struggle. So, makeup wasn't a vibe today. And my skin actually does look really nice. Apart from this wee thing. I don't even know if you would classify it as a spot. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, a dimple. But, like, outwards. I don't know. Just leave it like this, won't it? Yep. This looks so odd with no makeup on. Wow. So why? Is that from sweat or dribble during my sleep, I wonder? Nice, either way. So I've done, nearly done, my two most horrific days. And I'm just sitting here watching some Modern Family, as you do. And look at my like tan creases from sweat. See, whenever I mean, like, I have the worst sweaty face ever. And because I didn't wear any makeup today, it was a recipe for disaster. Like, my cheeks were red, like this colour. Red, red, red. It was bad. I want to your opinion on my meal deal. Kira thinks it's the most disgusting thing on earth. I think it's gorgeous. But, so I get this sandwich. It's so good, right? It's called the Red Lester Plowmans with pickle on malted bread. So good. For crisps. Obviously, watermelon, and then a, a Sprite, which I'm not gonna show you. And I also found these Belgian waffle, no, that's wrong, what is it? Salted caramel Belgian milk chocolate cookies. Imagine them heated. I don't know what I'm doing for dinner tonight either. It's really good, but I have a four hour break now, so I'm gonna sit here and lie down and let my body hate me, get a shower, and go to my last class of the day, and then be done with it. And then tomorrow I literally only have one class and it's at half five in the evening. So I might go shopping. Why not? Like, why not, why not? Ha <laughs> ha. Morning. Um, so I didn't vlog anything last night, it would seem. I have literal whiplash all around here. Like it's so painful, but I have no idea what it's from. The only thing that I, I don't even know. Like it's obviously from yesterday, but no idea what I did to deserve that. Yeah, so because of the whiplash, I just went straight in, had a dinner, and was out for the count last night, like so tired. It was actually like, I don't even know. But I don't have class until 5.30 today, which is unbelievable. You know, I told myself, I was like, you can lie in tomorrow because you don't have class until half five. What time did I wake up at actually? Quarter past eight. A sin, a sin indeed. Yeah, I'm going for a Nando's tonight with my friend Sasha, so, that'll be good and I really want to get a bar spike and like 
cycle around London. Like loads of people in my year in uni have done it recently. So I'll just be like following what everyone else is doing, like being basic, but you know, what's new, like that's me. I might do it, I'd get Sasha to do it with me. I think it'd be so nice, like to go around and see all the lights and everything. It'd be lovely, wouldn't it? Dunno, I don't know how to get to any places though, and I can't really be on my phone, can you? And cycle at the same time, like do a one-hander. I don't know. I sound so, so drained. And I am. Um, but it's okay because I go home tomorrow and it's my sister's birthday tomorrow as well. So I have to celebrate that. Not I have to. I'm going to celebrate that. Okay, so I haven't spoken to you all day. What's going on here? Um, I haven't spoken all day because all I've done is lie in my bed and watch movies. The same ones that I watch over and over. Is anyone else like this? Like, I can't watch anything new. Like, it really is an issue for me. I can't do it. Like, my parents, before I left, were like, will you please watch movies? And I'd be like, no, I can't. I don't want to. I don't want to watch anything new. Like, unless I've seen it, I'm not watching it. And, like, Lewis cracks up over it as well. I just can't do it. It's like, I like it, though. I like normal what happens. I don't like it when I don't know. Leave me alone, okay? So, I've watched a couple of movies, and now I'm getting ready to go to my class, which is in, like, I'm leaving here in like 25 minutes ish and I'm sitting here like fully ready as I always am because I'm so keen. I go home tomorrow though. I'm really excited to go home even though I was home two weeks ago but. Do you want to see? Um, yeah. <laughs> Say hello. Hi. <laughs> Sasha tell everyone what I did in that class. I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Is it yummy? I haven't eaten it yet. It's a half a chicken. It's not a foot. That's its wing. That's a chicken wing, and that's its breast. And that's its leg. You're so dramatic. She didn't go to Look at this one. This is cool. It's really nice, isn't it? I don't like it. Just a little background story as to how I waxed him up the face today. If I had my ring on, so I literally <gasps> went like this. So he was there, yeah. and I was here, and I just went boom into the No, it was in the thing, but you used the right arm as well. I was really proud of you. I know, I was doing it right. <laughs> like, normally I do that exercise really wrong, wrong and she I did it right for the first time, but I literally just flung my arm out to the side and just like went bang. bang in his face. Like, if I had my rings on, I would have it done some damage. Fast. He was bleeding. <laughs> his lip was bleeding. It was my yeah. fault. Um, so she wants to get a bulk protect and it's going to take 11 minutes to get here. I would rather stand here in the but cold for 11 minutes. But it's a 15 minute walk. No, it's free as but well. But we stood in the cold. It's not, we're away from the wind. But we'd be warmer if we walked. No, I disagree. Why didn't you I'm getting the bulk. Okay, so that's where it kind of goes a wee bit wrong in the whole situation. I'm a retainer in place, it's kind of gross. Ooh, I feel weird talking with it on. But, okay. So after this, me and Sasha didn't get the bolt home and we walked back to my place because like I live on the way to hers. And as we were walking, I started like thinking, I was like, keys, do I have, do I have keys with me? So we emptied my bag out in the street, no keys. I have never done that before. And I was sort of freaking out because Kira was already at home. Like she had flown home that night. I had no one in my flat. It was really, really stressful. So I was like right, ringing my parents and they were like, Oh my god, <laughs> everyone was freaking out for me because I am incapable in these situations. My brain, like I just stand there, like I am helpless, like I can't do anything for myself. It's actually, it's bad. So my dad had to like phone my landlord and be like, can you bring her keys? And this was, I don't even know, it wasn't that late, but it was like a Friday night at like nine or something like that. Like it was the chances of them bringing it was so slim and they did like bless them. But oh my god, it was so stressful. I was like sitting out in the street for ages and I had to buzz my neighbour to like let me in like just to the foyer. So I could like foyer, it's like a staircase. But even still, I was like buzz them and ask if they could let me in just so, so I did not sit away in the cold. Here's a video I started here. Sasha put on, on her private story of me asking my neighbour. so embarrassing. I've accidentally locked myself out of the flat. Can you please let me in? Thank you so much. Thank you. Mortified. So yeah, I literally thought I was gonna have to go and stay at Sasha's because I was getting a flight home at like six the next morning. So I was like, I'm not getting home. I don't have a passport. I don't have anything. Like I literally can't get home. So I thought I was gonna have to go stay at Sasha's and like bust my door down the next day to go get my stuff to like fly home. It was really stressful, but I'm home now. Like even though that was a month ago and I've already been in London since then, but you know. I'm home now and it's all fine. So yeah, thanks for watching. I look like a man, never doing that again. Oh my God, by the way, I'm getting a wisdom tooth in the back of my mouth and it's really, really sore. And Lewis freaked me out. He was like, yeah, you're gonna have to get that removed. I'm not getting it removed. Like I am not going under anesthetic. It's not happening for me. No, nope, not doing it. Anyway, besides the point. Bye everyone, see you later. Thanks for watching, meow.